Well, as the current ceasefire in the Middle East is set to end tomorrow, support remains strong for all impacted by the conflict overseas. Yeah, here in Minnesota tonight, the Institute for Holocaust Research is hosting an event aimed at combating anti-Semitism. Our Maury Glover is there and joins us now live. So Maury, they say communities here at home are being impacted by this war as well. That's right, about 200 people turned out here at the Metropolitan Ballroom to talk about October 7th and the anti-Semitism that's followed it. When Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th, killing roughly 1,200 people and kidnapping 240 others, it prompted a war in Israel and Gaza. But observers say it has also sparked a rise in anti-Semitism here in the United States and around the world. This was really an attempt to terrorize Jews all around the world, not just in Israel. The Anti-Defamation League says the number of anti-Semitic incidents across the country has risen by nearly 400 percent since the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust, compared to the same time period last year. Journalist and author James Kerchick says on the surface, the spike is about anger over Israel's response to Hamas's attack killing Palestinians. But he believes the conflict is only amplifying anti-Semitic feelings in some that were already there. If people see Jews being attacked um, and they hate Jews, they're, they're, they're going to come out and they're going to express their their hatred. They're going to feel emboldened. Speaking to a group of young professionals at an event organized by the Institute for Holocaust Research and Education, Kerchik says the rise in anti-Semitism shouldn't just concern the Jewish community. It should worry society as a whole. I think countries that succumb to anti-Semitism, they move in a direction away from liberal democracy, away from individual rights. Uh, away from the values that we in America cherish. Now, Kerchik says the best way to fight anti-Semitism is to recognize it and not be afraid to call it out for what it is. Reporting live in Golden Valley, Maury Glover, Fox 9. All right, thank you, Maury.